New for you tonight, Governor Brad Little appeared on KBOI radio this afternoon to talk about some issues that have become the talk of the gem state. Some of the many topics discussed included Little's views on hemp and CBD oil. In fact, a woman called in to KBOI and told the governor that her son has epilepsy and he had a seizure just yesterday. She said her son stopped seizing after she rubbed hemp oil on his gums. She then asked the governor if he's willing to make Idaho conform to the federal hemp law. They haven't written the rules yet, so we don't know what we're conforming to yet. We had a uh, piece of legislation that didn't make it to the finish line or my desk uh, that would have uh, allowed for hemp here. The problem with CBD oil is there's no quality control, and that concerns me. Another trending topic across the nation, jail overcrowding, which also continues to be an issue in the gem state. We've reported some inmates have been sent to jails out of the county or even out of the state to make room in Idaho's jails. And here's what Little had to say about the jail overcrowding issue. We are not happy that we had to ship uh, some of our inmates out of state. We funded two uh, facilities, one in eastern Idaho, one in northern Idaho, where we can get these people that are in our system and get them back into society. In March, Canyon County leaders approved a new bond initiative that would help alleviate the overcrowding issue in the Canyon County Jail. On the 21st of May, Canyon County voters will vote on that jail bond initiative that would help fund a $187 million, 1,000 bed jail. And if you want to learn more about this bond, there will be three meetings coming up next week. The first one this coming Monday at the trolley station in Middleton. The second is Wednesday, May 8th at the Parma Rural Fire District. The last one of the week will be Thursday in Melba, and all of those meetings begin at 7 p.m.